I bet you guys have never seen this room, huh? You know why you've never seen this room? This is the bathroom. I'm sitting on the toilet, taking a shit. Why? Because I just watched the Golden Compass. And it made me wanna fucking defecate! <laughs> Okay, so like Hollywood every now and then, the big movie studios will throw something out that's like completely unfinished, unpolished, and really, like no viewing audience with any intellectual prowess whatsoever would be satisfied with the result. And that is exactly what I got from the Golden Compass. It's pretty much a big steaming pile of shit, and I can't remember the last time I watched a movie and was so utterly disappointed. Like, it was even worse than I predicted it was gonna be. Now, there was a lot of hubbub about this movie. There's previews everywhere, and mindless masses everywhere in the fucking universe are like, oh, the preview's cool, it's got a lot of visual effects, we'll go see it, because it's gonna be cool, because the preview was. The storyline wasn't finished. Nothing grants closure. It's obvious that they want to start a franchise, possibly, and do a lot of them. Hopefully the first one tanks so bad that they won't bother torturing us with multiple sessions of the same shit. I don't even know where to begin. Like, the leading male role in the film actually only spends, like, two minutes of screen time, if that. And it's like they just got him for a cameo. They did, they did. Maybe they couldn't afford him for the whole thing. And the young lady that carries the movie, I don't think she did that well. I, I've seen a lot of child actors far outperform that one. As for Nicole Kidman, well, I've always thought Nicole Kidman could really use getting fucking slammed in the head by a crowbar, because I've never been able to stand any of her work in any movie. I know there's like a sexual attraction for some people for Nicole Kidman, and that's cool, but the way she like shakes her ass when she walks, and they always do like a steady cam shot or a dolly shot following Nicole Kidman's ass in every fucking movie, where it's got to wiggle back and forth, back and forth, and it it's it, it's been fucking done. Stop doing it. Nicole Kidman's not that great, and she actually elicits nothing but a response from me that I, I just want to bash her head in. I don't like her. I something about the lady just doesn't strike me right on camera, and that's that's fine. I'm allowed to think that I don't like Nicole Kidman on camera. Seriously, that's not what fucked this movie up. This movie was fucked from the beginning. I really don't know where to begin on hashing this movie because it's that bad, man. It's like, it wants to be a western, but it wants to be like a fantasy, but it wants to be a steampunk, but it wants to be a sci-fi, but it wants to like send a message about oppression and censorship. It really doesn't know where it's going. And that's the biggest problem. You can't just have a movie that has nothing. It doesn't go anywhere, It doesn't. nothing gets solved, nothing's fixed, nothing's... It's it's just it, it's it's just a bunch of random shots, just going everywhere, you know. I God damn it! How does Hollywood do this? They spend millions of fucking dollars making these movies, and some of them suck so bad that all we want is for the movie to end. But they don't end. They just keep going, and then they leave a big fucking opening like. Like I'm gonna want to see the next one. So I'll make it quick, fast, and easy for all of you. If you're thinking about wasting your time, even on the rental, or even the 50 cents it theoretically costs you to choose it on your Netflix list, it's bad enough, at least to me, that I, I think don't waste your time, because you'll be disappointed. Not even the prop design was that impressive. Serious. A pot on a fire on the little compass symbol means recipe. It is, it's really bad. It's the depth of bad shit, as far as I'm concerned. To those that liked it, well, fucking enjoy yourselves, because you're helping debase American and world cinematography and movies to the, like the lowest denominator of shit because you just run and watch this stuff instead of demanding and, and like boycott. Like, I do not go to a fucking movie and support the filmmaker because, yes, if you buy a ticket, you're supporting the filmmaker indirectly. If you rent the movie, you're supporting the filmmaker indirectly. If they're making shit, why would you want to support them? See, I want the ones that make shit to stop fucking making shit, and I want, like, good fucking directors to make good stuff that I want to watch. Come on, people! Like, are we really so desperate for entertainment that we will watch the, the, the fucking Golden Compass?